17 years ago today, then President George W. Bush was sitting in a Sarasota elementary classroom when terrorists attacked the World Trade Center. A classroom at Booker Elementary is now a part of American history. ABC 7's Jess Dowdrick talked to teachers that were with President Bush when he heard the news. She has more on their stories. It's part of history I didn't want to be a part of. Room 301 at Emma E. Booker Elementary School looks like any other classroom. Today, it was full of students learning how to spell. R-A-K-E. R-A-K-E. But rewind 17 years. Great to meet everybody. And it's a historic classroom, the one where President George W. Bush sat and read to the students on September 11, 2001. We have been selected because of the reading gains our kids have made, had made. That's when this happened, and President Bush learned about the attacks on the Twin Towers. But the fact that President Bush stayed and read and allowed the kids to read to him and he interacted just a little bit, those three to five minutes, maybe even longer that he was here, really made a, a big impact on our school. At first, no one knew what was going on. It was, it was a little surreal, like, okay, did something really happen? Because many of us thought, okay, it was just a plane crash because they, they happen often. Then they turned on the TVs and learned the truth. President Bush quickly addressed the nation from the school, then was rushed out. He turned around, you know, to leave, and I remember seeing um, the, the look of, of sadness, of just grief stricken on his face. It caused a bit of panic, parents wondering if the school and president were the next targets. We were trying to keep parents calm, you know, let them know your children are safe, they're all okay, but then we had parents that just showed up on campus. Today, a bookcase full of memorabilia reminds students and teachers of the role their school played in the history of 9-11. A scrapbook detailing that day is a part of that, and this plaque hangs outside of room 301. And when people ask, where were you when the Twin Towers and the Pentagon were attacked? We will say, we were with the president when he found out. It's a funny feeling to be part of history like that. It's a sadder feeling to know why. I was ABC 7's Jess Dowdrick reporting.